Good evening, Valencia County Cowboy Church and those out on the web this evening. Uh, we want to welcome you here to our broadcast. We've come to you this evening to share a little bit and talk about Sunday morning, tomorrow morning. And we're glad you're with us. You know, the the world is in chaos. It's hard for me to imagine that a little bitty virus that you got to look into a to a microscope to see has caused so much turmoil on the face of this earth and it's unreal to see the fear that people have all over the world you turn on the news and you look at new york and california and louisiana and washington state and there's so much chaos and people just going crazy doing things they wouldn't normally do and just breaks my heart because you see god created all of us he created all of those in those areas he created everyone on the face of the earth and he made them in his own image and he's called them to be his disciples he's called them to follow him and it's a shame that very few follow him you know we come to see through this chaos that the scripture that i want to share with you is so true it says in Matthew 7, 13 through 14, it says, Enter through the gate, the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. And through this chaos, I can see what God's talking about in that scripture. He he says that the path is wide that most people are going to take and it leads to hell, leads to destruction. And he tells us that the gate is narrow that very few are going to find it and very few will be there. And we can see that around us. We can see it happening all around the world. You know, us in America want to sit here and think that we're probably the only Christians in the face of the earth and that we're the, we're the it of the it. But in reality, everybody, I don't care what color of skin, I don't care what, how you speak your words, I don't care who you are, God created you. And he created us all to be brothers and sisters in Christ, but very few are going to find that path and follow it. And you know, I believe God has called us just for this time, me and you alike. I believe he's called that church on that hill. That wasn't something that just happened. It's something that God ordained a long, long time ago, and He's called me and He's called you to be a part of that. Now we have a choice to follow His call, His leading, or we have a choice to fade back and, and live our life for us and follow that wide path. I don't know about you, but the scripture I just read kind of puts a fear of God in me that I don't want to go down that wide path. I don't want to be with everybody else that's scared to death right now and everybody that's going crazy and chaos and, and doing things that don't even make sense to us. But I want to be that very few that's, that's quiet and has a peace and comfort that passes all understanding and nothing will ever rock our boat because we have a Savior, Jesus Christ, that died on a cross for us. And he brought life to us. He brought forgiveness and grace and mercy. And that's the greatest gift that mankind will ever have. It just breaks my heart that very few will ever find it. You know, the, the craziness and the chaos going on around us has to do with death. They're not scared because they were going to run out of toilet paper. They're not scared because they won't have this or won't have that they're not scared they're scared for their life because they don't know where they're going when they leave here they don't understand that that god has a plan and they don't have that have that peace and comfort that me and you have so i ask you tonight i ask you tonight what path are you going down what path are you going down are you going down the, the wide path that leads to destruction? Are you following the way of the world? Are you scared? Are you in chaos? Are you worried about not having toilet paper? <laughs> I know that's a joke, but it's unreal and it's true. You see, we serve a God that he told us in, in, in Matthew 6, 25 through 
Let's see, it goes 1 through 34, but he told us, he said, I'm just going to kind of paraphrase it to you right fast. It says, don't worry about your life. Don't worry about your life because he's got it. And he tells us, don't worry about what you eat or drink because he'll provide. And he tells us, don't worry about your body and don't worry about what you will wear that I will provide. And he goes on to tell us that in the in in in, in verse 30, 30 he tells us, Oh ye of little faith. You see, we as Christians need to walk by faith, not by sight. The world around us is walking in fear. They're walking by sight. They can't believe what's happening. And all they see is chaos wherever they turn. But we as Christians all we see is Jesus and a cross. We see a Savior that's risen that promised to save us and to, to comfort us and give us a peace. And he, he promised to feed us and clothe us and take care of us. But there's something to it. This is who he promises that for. And I want to read it to you. He goes on to talk about all of this, being afraid and about don't worry about this and that. But then in verse 34, he says that. This is what he says. He says, but seek first his kingdom. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all of these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. You see, what he's trying to tell us here is that we have no fear as long as we seek his kingdom. As long as we seek his righteousness. As, we, as long as we seek to live as Christ called us to live. You know, it's a sad but true thing that we as Christians like to gauge our life as a Christian by other people around us, by other members in churches. We look at them and go, man, I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm better than they are. But you know what? God calls us to be Christ-like, not like Joe or John or Jim or Jerry or Steve. He calls us to be Christ-like. And the only way to really know what that is is to get the Word of God and study it. I want you to look at all the Gospels and study what Jesus did and how He touched lives and how He was a light on the face of a dark place here on this earth and how He went to a cross to save me and you. You see, we're the blessedest people on the face of the earth because God has chosen us. He's chosen to use us as mighty warriors for him. He's put his Holy Spirit in me when I wanted to do that. You know, I hear a lot of people say that, well, God wouldn't create hell and he wouldn't throw people in hell and God wouldn't do that. He's a loving God. You know, they're right. There is a hell. There's two places that we're going to end up at, one or the other. It's either hell or heaven. And, and God's not sending nobody to hell. He's gave us a way out. He gave us Jesus Christ, His only Son. He did. And it's mine and your choice to follow Him. You see, it's going to be our choice where we end up when this life's over on this earth. And I pray that you have a choice, and your choice is to follow Christ. You know, if you're sitting here this evening in your home or in your pickup and, and you're not really sure where you are in your walk, if you, if you don't really know if you're going to go to heaven, I want you to know once the Holy Spirit comes in you, you know without a doubt in your mind where you're headed. You see, He gives that peace and comfort that we can endure these storms. So if you're here this evening and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want you to think about it. I want you to pray about it. You see, God came and He came and died on that cross for you. He took your sins. He knew you before you was born. And He took them sins of yours. He knew you was going to be a sinner. He took them on that cross and He died for you. So you could have life everlasting. You know all you have to do is to seek him and believe. That that's what he did. And you got to turn from your wicked ways. And you have to seek God's face. 
You have to repent. It's so simple. And once you do it, it'll be the greatest thing you've ever done on the face of the earth that you've ever done. And there'll be a peace and comfort come over you that passes all understanding. You know, there's one book that I want my name to be in. It's not the book of best ropers. It's not the book of the best athlete. It's not the book of the greatest farmer, rancher. It's not the book of the greatest preacher. It's not any of those books. I want my name to be written in the book of life. Because someday I'm going to go before my Lord and Savior and he's going to open that book up. And he's going to search that book and he's going to see if my name's in that book. And I pray he finds it. And I pray he finds your name. In Jesus' name. Tomorrow morning we're going to come once again. We're going to bring a message of hope. We're going to bring a message of salvation. We're going to make, bring a message of peace, comfort, and joy to the body of Christ. I pray you'll tune in. We're going to try to do it live once more. We're going to be live on Facebook and we're going to be live on YouTube on Valencia County Cowboy Church sites. So we're going to come at 10 o'clock and I pray you and your family and friends will tune in and we can worship God together. We can, we can uh, sharpen iron with iron. We can spur one another on. And me and Denise want you to know that we love you and we're excited for the day we can come back together and worship God together and we can hug your neck. That's going to be a special day. We're going to celebrate that day when we get there. I think we need to have a big potluck and we need to make it a big deal because it's going to be a big deal. I don't know about you, but being away from all y'all is, uh, it's not been fun. But we love you. We're here for you. If you need anything, you older generation or younger generation, call us. Either the church number or one of us elders or someone in the church, it would be a blessing to be able to go get food or whatever you need. But y'all need to stay in and stay healthy and don't get out around people till this thing is cleared up. We want you around. We need you around. We need your wisdom. We love you and we care about you. In Jesus' name. God be with you till we meet again.